welcome back to the channel welcome to another video today we're taking a look at this beautiful helicopter it's uh came out about a year ago from Cowan sim uh it's a 500e and uh this thing's a little bit of an amazing helicopter it's a little high priced in my opinion but not bad but i'm not a helicopter person so i'm not uh, sure what they're supposed to cost this is roughly uh well, uh, $33. It's uh, $22.99, so uh, with taxes, it's probably about $35. Now, it does come with a lot of liveries, so I gotta give them credit for that. And I think there's a paint pack that comes with it, too, that you guys can use. And uh, it's over, right now, 60... Uh, I think there's, like, over 60 different liveries that come with this thing. It's pretty incredible. You can take a look here. It comes with like LAPD and a bunch of different liveries. And I think that's a good feature because there's no shortage of whatever your mood is. You can fly. You feel like being a, a you know, in a red helicopter. Or you can even do a mountain rescue one or Coast Guard. I think they have a Coast Guard. I know they have a Sheriff's <coughs> Department. And, um,. I saw LAPD. I know uh, these are commonly used helicopters for um, police and also obviously uh, general aviation. You know, really cool helicopter. I like this one is one of my favorite liveries. I don't know what it is about this color, but um, in my opinion, it's really nicely looking. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of some of the liveries that do come with this thing because it is expensive before you invest in it but i think this this helicopter in my opinion i'm not a helicopter person but it's totally worth it it has been an amazing helicopter to fly uh or crash for my case however uh definitely such a cool helicopter now let's go back i flew this one on a live stream before um so let's go back to the hangar real quick here and I'll just show you all the liveries here. I mean, so many. And the texturing of this helicopter is nice, too. See, I believe this one's the Sheriff one. And uh, as you can see, there's just tons of choices to pick through here. So uh, we're going to jump inside it, take it for a little bit of a flight. Hopefully, we can get it back on the ground. Um, but yeah. I don't know if that's going to happen because I'm not the best at flying this. You're going to have to bear with me as we get through this video today. However, at least we'll get a good understanding and a good look at this helicopter in the meantime. So let's go ahead and jump inside one of these beautiful liveries and uh, we'll get started here. All right, let's put ourselves on the ground here. Hopefully everything is shut off right now. I don't want it to start up on me before I even get in the video. That happens sometimes just want to say uh, if you guys are new to the channel welcome um, this is aviation enthusiast channel consider subscribing smash the thumbs up if you do enjoy this video at the end you don't have to do it now because obviously we didn't do anything yet but we will be shortly uh, here it is okay so it's our it's already started so let me just cut that out all right guys we're back and we're sitting here on the ground in this helicopter so let's go ahead and just take a look at the outside here let me see if I can get out and just give you guys a perspective of this thing this thing is such a beautiful helicopter let's just walk around it and take a little bit of a pre-trip inspection here now again I don't know anything about uh, helicopters but the texturing is just next level on this thing huh I mean we, we're used to uh, just flight okay right here is a little bit messed up I mean but, again, you know, we're coming from the Duke to a helicopter now. So, uh, you know, you have to lower your expectations slightly. However, it is a very nicely looking helicopter. Also, I did fly this thing in VR. If you ever get a chance to fly this in VR, it's absolutely incredible. Um, because the, the out, like, inside here, you have such a great view. I'll tell you one thing though, you're going to get a uh, motion sickness most likely, unless you're used to flying helicopters. If you are, then you'll probably do better than I did. These doors uh, do open here, 
And uh, I believe both doors open, which are pretty cool. Fire extinguishers you can remove or not remove. We'll probably need them with me flying. You got uh, window covers here, which actually do block the sun, as you can see the shadow back there. I like that it's a little neat touch that they put in there. Little things that you notice when you're doing a lot of these uh, review videos. You start finding things out that you never knew about planes or helicopters, you know, in this case. Um, you know, they got even a couple of back doors for the passengers to jump on in there. It's like f Hawaii Five O style. There's what all the doors open. All right, let's go ahead and close these up here. All right. Now I I don't have too many helicopters, but I do have a few. I would say so far the best helicopter in Microsoft Flight Simulator seems to be the Airbus H160. That thing is so much fun and such a beautiful uh, helicopter it's a little bit on the expensive side all right so let's get inside here and start this up got a little off track with the video here all right so first things first we got to get that uh master battery on this um used to be pushed in but it's not anymore there is a checklist with this but you have to print it out i think it's on their website so i don't really know too much about starting this helicopter you I think need a little bit of um, throttle here and if you click on your mouse it will show you the percentage of throttle so you can uh, kind of adjust it to whatever you think will help right now they do have options here in the GPS so like you can change your panel to a more modern or if you want the old school but you want um, new avionics down here you can actually change this to the 750 which is pretty nice. I like that integration that we can uh, have fancier equipment. It takes a minute for it to boot up here, but uh, get the well. We don't need the generator on yet, right? Fuel pumps can come on. Pedo heat. Let's put on. I think that's the navigational lights. The starter's over here, behind here, you have to press it, which is weird. Um, let's see here. Let's see what it looks like in the dark. Oops, that's the fuel. Alright, so the other cool thing about this too is it does have, uh, that's the cabin light for the interior, and this is exterior lighting. This light, oh wait, no, is it this light? Sorry guys, uh, I thought that was the light, but I don't, oh, here it is, okay. They have a landing light here. And I believe you can adjust that light. So you can you can make it go up, down, every every which way you like. It's a pretty cool feature. Alright. Let's get the avionics on too here. I believe there's a couple different master panels and all that. I'm gonna um, start. I'm gonna start up before I drain this battery out. So uh, if you do want to put the rotor brake on, if it's windy out, it's right here. It does work. Um, oh, you can remove the door if you like to remove the rear doors. That's a cool feature. I didn't even know that exists. I just found that out with you guys right now. I'm not gonna pretend like I knew what I was doing there, but. This is the starter. Uh, I think I gotta hold it down here.
All right, so uh, I had a little bit of technical difficulties, but we should be good now. Hopefully. Let's try this without screwing it up too bad. I like the dust kicking up like that, right? That's pretty cool. The fire truck's out here waiting for us. Oh boy. You gotta put a uh, left rudder in here get this thing going. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Don't start the death spin. Don't start the death spin. Oh boy. I'm telling you, I'm not good at being a helicopter pilot, that's for sure. Okay, okay. Got it under control. It's not easy to fly these things. The sounds are absolutely amazing. Can you see why it would look cool in the simulator um, with this? What is this thing? Uh, wow, noticeably different, right? So you can remove the front doors as well. This this helicopter is very noisy, but it does come with headphones. But the headphones don't seem to make that much of a difference. So there's something to think about, I guess, right? So the real world helicopter pilots say that this does feel very realistic to an actual helicopter. Um, so I don't know too much about the flight characteristics, but supposedly to what they say, it does feel that way. So that's a good thing. I guess uh, no one's giving me my pilot's license for a hel or my helicopter's license anytime soon. I should say. Let's uh, turn back to the airport and see if we can at least try to attempt uh, to land this thing without crashing it. It's a nice helicopter, man. Really um, got to keep a little bit of left rudder, or yeah, left rudder in there because it will spin the tail back if you don't have the rudder in there. I thought it'd be nice to fly a little bit up the river and come back to the airport just for a little scenic view. But um, this helicopter is pretty cool, man. 
I had it for a little while. I did a few flights with it. I'm not the best at helicopter flying. I always seem to crash. Uh, hopefully, we can at least get it on the ground today. I think our airport is somewhere over there. Overwhelming after a while with that kind of uh, noise. But then again, some people really enjoy aircraft noise. I know I do in certain planes, so I don't know if helicopter pilots are similar where they enjoy the sound of it. So I'm going to start slowing down here. We're going a little bit too fast. I'm pulling out power and pitching backwards to reduce speed so that we can come down. Hopefully we come down without crashing. In theory, 1,000 feet here. About 40 knots. We're going to keep it in the green, I believe, right? Let's see if we can land before we took off that. That would be a miracle for me. Okay, well, we landed. I told you guys, I'm not the best at that. Not the best landing, um, but it took three times to try it. Uh, let's go ahead and shut this down. Definitely um, pretty bad at this. Need some work with the helicopter landing, right? For sure. this does. I don't know what that is. If that's a throttle lock or... the animation See the rotation of the rotor. Really cool. A lot of great features. Um, my thoughts about this is, uh, if you're into this type of helicopter, it's definitely worth to, to pick up, right? This developer um, makes really good helicopters. They make a lot of helicopters, so if you're going to go with them, I would say yeah. If you're looking for uh, high tech like this is uh really nice but this is like um mid this is probably like high to mid range uh for helicopters which is really nice um of course the h160 is probably top tier I'm, I'm thinking but again i'm not a helicopter pilot i'm just giving you my thoughts and opinions of this and uh definitely worth it pretty cool helicopter let's go ahead and uh hit the rotor brake there. That should help uh, settle it down. 
Cool. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel. This is the Aviation Enthusiast channel. And, uh, yeah. There's the helicopter. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments if I did okay. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.